Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing the on my shelf tag. I am back home for the summer and I decided that Riley, Riley Maria, I'll leave her channel down below, recently did the on my shelf tag. This is her second one. This is my first one because I never know how to do this because I have so many different shelves. So I'm going to tell you a breakdown of my shelves and how I'm doing this. I did shelf number and then the row because I have to pile books behind other books because I really don't have a lot of space. I'm doing shelf and then row and then the book in that row. So, shelf number one is my favorites shelf because I decided that I needed a favorite shelf. So, shelf number one is favorite shelf. Shelf number two and three are my normal shelves of already read books. And this one over here is shelf number two. This one over here is shelf number three. And then we have shelf number four, which is my to-be-read books. So, just so you know, that's the whole shelving process that I decided to do because I really wanted to do this tag because I have some books that I've, like, never talked about, even though I love them. So, I just picked a bunch of random numbers. So, let's get started. Shelf number three, row one, book fifteen. This was the book that was number 15, Just One Year by Gail Foreman. I actually have a book talk of this book and the companion book that comes before this one. If you want to go check it out, that'd be cool. Thanks. Anyway, um, I guess you just talked about the book. I love this book. I love Gail Foreman. I say that a lot on my channel. And I just, I love Gail Horman. She's an amazing author and I love this book. This is like my, one of my favorite book duos. Shelf number one, row number one, book number three. The Indigo Spell by Rish Michelle Mead. I don't have a lot to say about this book. This started out my love for Sidrian. Um, as you can tell, I categorized this book with, like, makeup scenes and every time they interacted, and I love Sidran. They're my favorite ship because they, like, have a life together, and it's so cute. And, I don't know, I just really love this book. I love Rochelle Mead. Again, hopefully I'm gonna get a book that, like, you've never heard of. Shelf number four, row number two, and book number eight. Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Saban Vivian. I got this book back in January. I still have not read it. It's on my TBR because that's shelf number four. I don't know when I'm going to get to it because there's a lot of books on my TBR that I want to read. But this one's, this one's pretty short, so maybe I can read it also. I love how this is just white. Shelf number three, row two, book twelve. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Lauren Oliver also wrote the Delirium trilogy, I think, and I love the Delirium trilogy. This book I did not love so much. It really got boring because it's just a repeat of the same day, and I really lost interest in like the middle of this book and I really you know kind of a three star two star deal shelf number two row two book number five the alchemist by Paulo Colho so I had to read this for junior high school summer reading and you were allowed to pick your book so I picked this one. I was excited to read it because everyone really, really liked it. I didn't. <laughs> it was really, really, really dull and it just dragged on and on and on. And even though it's only this thin, it took me literally all of summer 
the whole three months of summer because it was so freaking boring. I did not like it. One star, zero star. Shelf one, row one, book nine. World After by Susan E. I love this book. I really do love this book. One of my favorite trilogies, End of Days, already came out. No, I haven't read it because I don't have it. <laughs> anyway, so I just recently read this book and I love it. Love it, love it. I will be doing probably a series review when I do read End of Days. But as of right now, I'm just going to stick with loving the first two because I can't deal with it ending right now. Shelf number four, row three, book seven. This summer I turned pretty by Jenny Han. Look at that. Two unread Jenny Han books. I actually got this book for a dollar at like, what's it called? Goodwill. <laughs> I got this for a dollar at like Goodwill because... I was like, hey, I want to read this book. This was like two, three years ago. And I was actually about to give it away before I saw on BookTube that everyone was raving about this trilogy. I didn't even know it was a trilogy and I really want to buy the other two books, but I haven't read this one. And if I don't know if I like this one, I'm not going to pick up the other books. So I really probably should get to this book. And the last one is... Shelf 2, row 1, book 11. City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I read this whole series. Yes, it is one of my favorites, but not enough to make the favorite shelf. I apologize. But I do really love this series. And this was supposed to be the last book in the trilogy. And before it was turned into a series. Alright, so that was the on my shelf tag. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more bookish videos. I've been Courtney and you've been lovely. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Also why I don't have a bookshelf tour. Because I don't really have a bookshelf. You can see like these shelves in the back. But then I also have like stacks of them in different places. And I'm just gonna... It's very complicated.